All right, with that, I uh, wanted to bring in uh, Vitor Puente from New Bank, which is very timely because in the, in the chat, uh, Vitor is based in Brazil. There was uh, some folks asking for more involvement down there. Uh, Vitor reached out to us a few, I would say two months ago with a bit of his story, and we thought it was pretty compelling. Um, they have homegrown, they have some tooling, they've integrated the things. So I wanted to hear uh, their journey, their stack, and how it all fits together. So let me get you unmuted here, Vitor, and I will pass to you. Should be good to go there. Hello, everyone. Are you listening? Yep, sounds good. Yes, okay. So thanks, thanks, Charmin, for, for the introduction. Uh, as the, just said, like, I, my name is Vitor Puente. I will present some tools uh, regarding the FinOps context that we have here at New Bank. Okay, let's move on. Well, so just introducing myself, Vitor Monter Puente. I'm a senior engineering manager here at New Bank. I like coffee, I like astronomy. I was born in this beautiful city with a river uh, called Sorocaba, but currently I'm living in this slightly more metropolis city called Sao Paulo here in Brazil. Please, uh, don't know if, ever, ever, uh, if everyone knows Nubank, but we are a digital bank platform with 54 million customers. We rely a lot on AWS. Our main infrastructure is AWS. And we are different, uh, we are, uh, operating in three different countries, Brazil, Mexico, and Colombia. Okay, recently we have been named one of the most influential financial companies in the world uh, by Times, and we always, we always like to say that we have a very strong culture mainly towards engineering, okay? Regarding this culture regard, uh, uh, of engineering, soft engineering, engineering uh, uh, inside a bank, uh, we have a team called Cloud Efficiency. We, with is one of the team that I'm taking care of currently, and is a team that is uh, take care of everything regarding the fine ops domain. And also, we govern our costs, we do report, we track, and we inform and give visibility. We also build custom tools uh, to manage the, our uh, costs from other business units inside New Bank, and uh, we track the costs and we build uh, tools for cost reductions as well. You know, uh, as an horizontal. Uh, mindset. The next slides, I will present some of these tools, starting with tag, you know, so one important thing regarding this slide is that we have a custom resource definition. And by resource, I mean services, uh, squads, custom resource definition from AWS or any other uh, more new bank stuff, you know, that we, we, we build here in-house. And all of that is in this resource definition, which is a repository with a lot of metadata on how to build, how to operate, how to do that, the how to do uh, the provisioning on AWS, and based on all those definitions, on all these files that this specifies all these properties, we have an engine here, and this engine symbol here, well, you can say just you can see it as a service, as a software, you know, that we run, read data from them, and apply that all the metadata with, of, of course, like doing somehow uh, some kind of processing in the middle, but apply that to the infrastructure. So this is basically the tagging that we have when we got the definitions and we make them uh, arriving in production. This is the base for every other tools as we move forward. Then, okay, we have that arriving, a lot, uh, that a lot of tagging and metadata that we have defined it, all, all teams defined by their own, okay, arriving in production. Based on that, we can extract uh, a lot of custom data on the usage, you know, that all resources that is in our infrastructure, in our production environment, which is the number two here, and correlate that with the number one with the AWS curve file that we also extracted and send those data to the data lake that we have, which is represented by this resource to use this data. We aggregate that, process that, and we provide different data sets to build custom reports, uh, which is number three, and finally provide those reports to the other teams here that uh, mainly be uses units, that is the verticals that the new bank has, you know, the credit card, new quanta, the lending business unit, and as I said, since we have a lot of predefined custom meta tags that we can correlate with usage data uh, in a very different ways, providing that the teams making uh, allow them to define custom strategies for reducing costs or for managing their costs, you know, and this is what, in, in, what we are enforcing a lot in the last quarter with them. Victoria, we didn't even need this slide. You're not even talking too fast. Yeah, yeah. This slide was to remember me to talk a little bit slower because sometimes I got excited. But it's good, great good we, from our prep. You, it, yeah, perfect. Yeah. I, I love the Let's excitement. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, moving on, another tool that we have that we, we find very often brings a lot of cost reduction initiative. As I said, like this team called efficiency takes care of visibility, but also takes care of cost reduction initiatives with a mindset of our horizontal mindset. We have a right sizing tools, which again takes care of the balance of we have metadata and custom tags that build up in our platform that we manage and have fine growing uh, detail of usage of those resources. We have this engine that again is just a software service, you know, it's a system services that we, we run in our infrastructure that takes all those usage data, process it, and define what are the adjustments that it has to do in services in production, the real services running productions, and apply that to the definitions of their services. So these definitions will again will arrive to the productions. Okay. Uh, we then uh, will for sure will have a new behavior of the systems of the services, you know, and then this is also by our monitoring systems collected and go back to our usage data data lake repository when we process it again and we adjust it again. This is a living process, you know, like we keep doing this all the day, all the week. We do hundreds of changes in resources usage, like memory, CPU, provisioning data tables, uh, all the time, you know, like this is this is pretty awesome. And I want to ask um, on this one, uh, you know, right sizing is something that the native tools, you know, do the, the platforms have, you know, spent years developing complex algorithms here. It, what, why don't you take it from somewhere else and, and use recommendations? Why, where are you building your own? Yeah, good one. This, this, this initiative started with the right sizing of Dynamo DB tables, and we, we have partners in AWS here at Brazil. You know, we, we are very close to them. We have very frequent views of them. And by the time we started to design this, uh, which was more or less two years ago when we started the book, three years ago when we started this, this initiative, we didn't have that tool for DynamoDBs and we started with DynamoDBs. Now the tools is good, it's robust, you know, it's easy to extend to other services. So we extended to the Kubernetes clusters and the, the computing services that we have, you know, and, and, and now we have so much fine grained data, you know, and we are so much familiar. It's so good for us to do fine grained adjustments and easy for us to use it. Uh, and we are planning to extend it to other layers that AWS cannot provide us, you know. This is why. Also, uh, teams are very able to opting opt out. This is just a, a, a note of the remark. Anomaly detections. Uh, this is interesting. I, I would like to bring this here because this is a partnership that we had with Cloud Zero. You know, like so Cloud Zero is also another company that we are partnered with them recently. And one user case that we have, have already implanted, uh, deployed in production is the anomaly detection. So they are aware of our usage. And whenever we have a cost spike, this cost spike is identified it and, and it is notified in currently we have used rely on mud on Slack. And we also have a Slack channel for cost operation. So people can go to that Slack channel, understand and properly act on it, you know? Uh, I mentioned Cloud Zero, we are partnered with them in, in this uh, novelty detection. We also have some tags, cleaning tags uh, initiative that we are also uh, partnered with them. And I would like to mention also Spot.io is another partner that we have here to manage the Spot instance. Nubank rely very uh, a lot on, on spot instance, as I will show next. Uh, and this is our two partners that we uh, we have regarding this team. So what? So okay. So Vitor, you, you show a lot of building tools and some partners. What are good numbers that I think it's relevant to share with you all? Uh, more than eight five percent of our costs are tagged. You know, like this is something that we are also able to do in a very scalable way. You know, since we have all resource definitions, everyone defined their resources, new teams, new services, new new stuff that are created, they are properly tagged uh, from up front, you know. We are executing nowadays more than 1,000 changes in resource provisioning in production per week, you know. Nubank has a lot of specificities. We have a shard architecture, so we have a lot of services that are replicated by shards. All of this has different usage types, different load types, and we manage to adjust that accordingly to the users uh, every time. As I said, like right size is a living process. It's every time applying changes in production in order to, to reduce cost and to fit, fit better the, the, the load that we have. And we rely more than 70% of all whole computing services in spot instance as well. Okay, so uh, as, as Stormont has mentioned previously, we were talking like uh, yesterday, it's build versus buy. No, it's, it's like it depends as this very good quote for came to back, like every decent answer to interesting questions begins with, it depends. Uh, it's not a simple yes or no. 
uh, things that I would like to share some thoughts is that every environment has some specificities. Like be aware of your specificities. Uh, it's not built versus buy, it's built in buy, and you probably have to mix on what makes sense, you know. Uh, you may have a more complex problem or you may have a simpler problem. Look to the problem you want to fix this, see like which kind of knowledge I want to keep, which kind of knowledge I want to take a, a leverage from custom building to uh, for standard build tools, you know, uh, inside. This will have a lot of implications in how you drive your business and how you drive your, your teams and the effort required to not only build, but let's not forget also to maintain every integration, every custom tool you have to maintain. And, and this is where the pain starts, you know. So this Before is I, more I, or less I, the thought that I would like to say. Fantastic thoughts. And, and sorry to skip you. We're, we're just a little bit late on time, but uh, he's sitting around for the after session. We're going to break out for 30 minutes. So if you have questions, there are a few great questions in the chat for you. Uh, please, please stick around for to hear more. And thank you. The content was, was very interesting. I really thank appreciate you. it. I hope to come down to Brazil at some point to visit.